Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Sun Rainbow Wedlock. It has been some time, if you're seeing this, well, at the time of release. But if you're not, ignore this. I haven't recorded for about a month. It's been a while. I've had a lot of stuff going on, vacation and my girlfriend visiting from out of country, and a lot of different things that have been going on. So, it's been a while, but I'm really excited to get back into recording this series. So, with that being said, it is time for us to go to the second island. But I think we have to tell our mom we're leaving on an adventure because for some reason her opinion matters. <sighs> I don't know. But I'm, we might have already done this. I'm not entirely sure. I think Rodaham said, as long as you're sure you told your mom, it's time to go. So I'm going to go talk to her because I'm pretty sure that I didn't. I might have when I went in her house to heal or something when we explored Mele Mele Island with Tauros. But I don't want to risk going to the port and then t I'm telling me, you gotta go tell your mom. So we're gonna go tell her, see what she says. I'm not really concerned about her opinion. Yeah, come on in, spill beans. How far have you gotten? What? That's it? Whatever. Oh, yeah, so I must have already told her. It doesn't really matter. It's just a few seconds. Anyways, I do want to point out that if I do sound a little bit different, I have a really different recording setup than I've been using for this series. I'm very close to the microphone compared to before, so if this affects the quality in a bad way, please let me know. Or if it makes it sound better, definitely let me know that as well, because then I'll be able to do this in the future, too. I'm really close to it, so I probably sound either really clear or you can hear all the annoying things like my nose right then, because I've been really sick past week, actually, so it's been, you know, not the greatest, but I'm glad I'm able to record and get back into the swing of things here. I still have a bit of a sore throat, but I'm good enough to record at least this video. Maybe another one. We'll see. Anyways, we're supposed to go down to the marina down here, where Kakui and Lily are waiting for us with a nice little sailboat here, and we're going to ride that boat to the second island of our island challenge, which is going to be Akala Island. I'm pretty, pretty stoked. It's going to be really good. Um, I'm kind of scared because I know there's a fight coming up that I have to partake in, and I'm not exactly sure which fight it is. Uh, anybody that's played this game and know what I'm talking about. I don't remember which one is in Sun and which one is in Moon. And even if I did, I don't remember which one has which Pokemon. And I'm kind of afraid. Because I know either way, I'd be really set to take them on with VLD and Bob. But I don't actually remember if their other Pokemon is a water type. For some reason, I'm thinking Slowpoke. I've been worried about Slowpoke a lot. Maybe that's because I'm... Maybe that's why I'm thinking about it. I really hope that's not the case. Because I'm probably going to use them. So, you know, a lot of things could go wrong. Hopefully that's not going to be a problem. We gotta see this little boat cutscene, but I'm rambling anyways, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm really excited to get a Pokemon on Akala Island, too. There's a lot of things we can do. I can get a new Island Scan Pokemon if I wanted. I can do a lot of different things. So, I'm pretty excited. There's a lot of really cool Pokemon on this island. And there's a lot of really tough fights, too. And I'm pretty stoked to see how this island's gonna go for us. We had two deaths on Melee Melee. Will we leave it at that here on Akala, or will we grow that number substantially? We'll find out in the next few episodes, because it's going to take us a while. It'll probably take us a, quite a bit of episodes to get through Akala. It's a lot bigger than Melee Melee. So, we'll see. But I'm pretty excited. Rambling happens when the cutscenes and everything takes this long. But here we are. We are now on Hia he, 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 he City. Hea Hea. I don't remember how you say it. Anyways, we're in Hia he, he, Hea. I always forget the names of the cities. I was caught off guard. I was like, we're in Akala Island now, but like, no. I, I didn't know what you said how, but it was probably not pretty funny. But I, I'll help you out anyways, because that's what friends do. Friend makes a bad joke. You're supposed to be like, that's a pretty good joke, bud. And then like, kind of like think to yourself, why am I talking to this guy still? But that's what right, everybody on this channel is thinking about me. Like, let's be real. My jokes are top of the line extraordinary, right? Now everybody in the comments are like, Corm, you're the best, you're great jokes, bud. But inside, they're probably like, this guy's got problems. Which would be a completely understandable thing to think of me. I'm pretty crazy, as you guys saw in the last episode, but I'm not too concerned about that. That is my personality, and that's kind of why my channel's grown so well, maybe? I like to blame it on that. Anyways, here's the, uh, 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 the island kahuna. 
Not Mallow, no, beat it. She's one of the captains. Olivia is the kahuna of this island. So she's this island's Hala, which is pretty sweet. And Mallow's got a trial. We'll take it on eventually. I'm kind of concerned for it, because obviously a lot of people that have played this game know everything about Mallow's trial. I've never actually struggled with it, but maybe this will be the playthrough that I do. But it's going to be quite a ways down the line before we take on Mallow's trial. We're going to enjoy our time on the Island Challenge, Olivia, if you'd beat it so I can actually play the game. That'd be absolutely wonderful. Beat it, Mallow. Nobody likes you, Mallow. and no, Mallow's pretty cool. I, I have to admit, she's one of the cooler of the... Trial Captains, Kiawe's the best, obviously, but, like, if you watch the anime, which I'm still considerably behind on, but, yeah, I hate Lana, as I've, I think I've expressed this, she irritates me to no end, and it makes me sad, like, she's almost worse than Silen, I'll, I'll, I'll say it, like, I will, I think she's worse than Silen, like, if it wasn't for Silen replacing B Brock, she'd be worse than him, but, like, Silen, I have an ultimate hatred for that will never go away, so... Nah, that's, that's that, basically. Yeah, we made it to Akala, big boy. Are you gonna call me big boy, Rotom? You've made it to Akala, big boy. You know, no, like, I'm not gonna take it there. Anyways, let's continue. We can explore here, here City for about five seconds before Lily's like, wait! I have things to say, but in here you can actually talk to the name raider. I'll explore the city here in a second, but I kind of want to get Lily's clothes shopping endeavors out of the way because she interrupts everything. She's the biggest nuisance. She's like, oh, Dionysus, look at this pretty dress. Oh, yeah, you're looking for ruins at the clothes store, right? What? No, you're not looking at ruins, you liar, Lily. You're looking at clothes, like all women. Like, I didn't realize. I shouldn't talk. I should stop myself here. I didn't realize how bad, like, girls were when it comes to clothes shopping, right? I can say this because, like, my audience is, like, mostly men, I think. Well, guys, anyways. But, like, sorry to all the women out there, but you guys take way too long clothes shopping, like... I thought my girlfriend was good, you know, but like when she came to visit, we went to different clothes stores and apparently those little stools that you see sitting in clothes departments, those are called man chairs. I didn't know this. I thought it was just a place to sit for like anybody, but they're called man chairs because that's where the man sits when the woman's shopping for clothes all day. There's an actual chair designed for the depressed. Did you not know this? I didn't. It's pretty great. And I utilized those man chairs very well. All of them. They all met me, if you know what I'm saying. They met. They, eh, it's, it's good. Anyways, here's the clothes store. So I'm going to do exactly what I just said is irritating. We're going to go to the clothes store. We're going to do this really quick. Like, some people like to do clothes shopping in Pokemon. Not necessarily this guy, but I'll do it because I think some people like it. I don't. Like, do you have any glasses on right now, bud? What? No glasses? Where do you get some glasses? Let's put on a big pair of orange glasses. No, no, that's not going to happen. No, that's not going to happen. Hey, let's do him up all weird. How about that? Oh, no. I only have 20k. <laughs> you ain't getting my money. TMs are getting my money. Gosh. Clothes are just like... Okay, playing as the girl is actually harder than playing as the guy. It's an actual fact because you have to buy clothes as the girl. The guy, it's just like you can dress all black and you're done the whole game. There you go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and change my party around really quick. I want to put Bob and Vialdi up front, because I think that's going to be my best bet for the upcoming fight here. I'm pretty certain, anyways. I'm really hoping that I'm not wrong here and they have a water type. I feel it. I feel it in my gut that they do for some reason. But... <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to do it. I'm not. I'm going to put Aeris up front. I, I don't know why. Something just telling me. Slowpoke and Leafeon. Something's telling me. I don't know why, but I feel it for some reason. I hope my gut corrected me here, because uh, that would be a big save. Stop right there. I think I'm fighting Dexio. That's kind of what I was relying on here. <gasps> Wait, if it's Glaceon, I'm in trouble. I like, I'm certain it's Dexio and he has Leafeon. Wait, it's Espeon! Isn't it? That's good then. Please be Dexio. Aha! We didn't mean to surprise you. You must be doing your island challenge. I'm Dexio. And I'm a nerd. And this is Cena right here. And she's also a nerd. We're seeing sights of Lola. It's a unique tradition of the island challenge. It's pretty fascinating, I've got to say. No. No! Don't be you! Please! Yes, it's Dexio. Alright, I've got an idea. You and Dexio should battle. 
No, nah, no, nah, not lady. Why would we do that? Eh, I might test my skills, I suppose. Is that alright with you? Yeah, it's alright. We get to double check at least. Then he's gonna let his partners go wild. It is Espeon. But I remember that. I feel confident with my choices. And we're gonna take on Dexio, who is from the Kalos region. He has two Pokemon. He has an Espeon, and what is his other Pokemon? A Slowpoke! I knew it! I don't know why I had that feeling. I had that gut feeling, and I was right. All right, let's go, Eris. Trust your gut. All right, thank God I did not do it with Bob and Vialdi. They would both be dead right now. There would be no escape, no matter what I try. All right, so I'm on an Acrobatic. Slowpoke, bulky. There's not too much I can... Shut up. I do this every video. But Acrobatic should be able to take Slowpoke down in two hits. Confusion, eh, it's going to do a little bit. I'm not really concerned. They don't hit that hard at this point in the game. They do have a lot of bulk, though, as you know. And Acrobatics, luckily, will be enough to take it down in two of those, which is great. All right, see you later, Slowpoke. And I, I thought it was Leafeon Glaceon, because I know Cena has Glaceon, but it's an actual Espeon. So, that's fine. I can go ahead and send out Malcolm, which has a type effective bonus against it, being Bug. We'll be able to send in Malcolm, and this will take this Espeon down, hopefully, really quickly. What Struggle Bug? But Espeon's a pretty strong Pokemon. A Confusion from this thing, or maybe a Psybeam, I'm not sure what it gets, could do a lot of damage to Malcolm. So I'm going to Struggle Bug just in case, because I'm sure we're faster. We're not, actually. But it's going to lower its special attack. We'll be able to take... What? No way! Oh my god! 2 HP! I know they have a ton of special attack! I didn't think it'd do that much to Malcolm. We could be in serious trouble. Well, you crit with Struggle Bug, which is huge. Thank you, Malcolm, but that might not matter. So, obviously, it doesn't matter. One minus special attack's not gonna save Malcolm. No matter what, if I heal, it's still gonna do over half of my health. I need to check out Eris' special defense, because that's gonna be a huge deal in this fight. We have 32 special defense, where Malcolm only has 17. I do believe Eris will be fine to take this Espeon down. Thanks for the help, Malcolm. But I need you to come back. Holy crap, let's go Eris. Finish this up for us. As long as Confusion doesn't crit, we should be fine. But a crit might be able to do in Eris, too. It's not a crit. We're fine. I could heal. We have plenty of healing items. A crit would kill me, but I don't think it's going to. I don't want to heal anticipating a crit, even though I have items. I'm... I'm gonna do it. I, I know I don't like to, but I have three of them. It doesn't really matter. Using a potion here will only make it so I can't lose Eris no matter what happens. This is just a safety net. There's no reason not to. Using this, put me back to full. Confusion can do a little bit of damage. It's gonna, you know, not do as much as it did before because I was already a little bit weak. Now, it could still crit and kill me. That's why I don't, that's why I say don't heal anticipating a crit because even if I did heal right there like I did, it can still crit me and kill me in one hit anyways, probably. So, it just was kind of like a safety net a little bit, kind of to lessen some anxiety. There's nothing else that I can do now other than just go for acrobatics and hope that it doesn't. It didn't. We'll be able to take it down here with acrobatics, and that should be at Dexio done, and it is. All right. Nice work, Eris and Malcolm. That was way too close for comfort. I didn't realize exactly how frail Malcolm was. A lot more frail than I thought, but luckily... We escape, no problem. Oh, Draining Kiss, that's actually huge. That's way better than Fairy Wind, or it might be the same. No, it's a little bit better, and it also heals, which is drastic. It's not a no-healing challenge, but it's still a really incredible move to have in any sort of challenge, which is going to be an awesome move. We'll probably have that for pretty much the entire game, or as long as Malcolm is around. All right, I didn't think that fight would be that scary, but... We dodged a lot of bullets. That was very close. It was probably a damage range from Malcolm surviving that confusion there. Because it wasn't a crit. It was just a straight up hit. And if I left VLD and Bob up front, that would have been the end of their lives right there. So luckily that didn't happen. All right. He's going to go ahead and give us an item here, which is the Zygarde Cube. And this is actually an encounter. So this is a gift Pokemon. This is one of the first gift Pokemon in the game. There aren't very many. I think there's actually only two more, an Aerodactyl and an Eevee. And this is what I consider my first gift Pokemon. Because this will let me collect Zygarde cores and cubes. And by doing this, I can actually take it somewhere later in the game and get an actual Zygarde. Which I am going to allow. There's no way that I'll ever be able to get Zygarde 100% in the normal playthrough. So it will not be overpowered. Zygarde is... 
a pretty weak legendary, and it's not even that great. So I think having a cool, unique Dragon Ground gift Pokemon later down the line is something that we can do. I'll probably only ever use the dog form, the 10%. I'm not sure if you can get regular Zygarde. If you can, I can use it, but I would have to collect an awful lot of cubes. So if it happens, it'll happen, if we even get to use it. But it's there nonetheless, so we can now start collecting those. There's some exploration that we can do here. They did heal us up, so I don't need to go heal. Um, there is a TM shop in the Pokemon Center, but what I actually want to do is head on to this next route, Route 4, and get our encounter before we actually head to the Pokemon Center and start exploring things, because I'd like to check it out there. So, Route 4, there are some really cool Pokemon. I got an awesome Igglybuff here in my original wedlock that was amazing. It was Paige the Wigglytuff, and it was one of my favorite members I had used in that playthrough. I don't want another one. And you can also find Mudbray here, which I also used in the original Moon Wedlock that made it to the end of the game. And I don't want another one. There's some cool things here, but they're pretty rare. Like, Grubbin would be awesome. Grubbin would be really cool. It's a 10%. It's unlikely. And you can also find Eevee here, which I don't want, because you get a free one on the next area. There's no reason to get it here. It would just can that gift and can an encounter. So because of this, I don't want to take the risk of getting an encounter. So this is actually where I'm going to use my island scan. It is Thursday in real life, which is the day that you can get the island scan Pokemon for this route. So I didn't have to change my clock. It's perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead, open up the QR scanner, and island scan for route 4. This will be my route 4 encounter. So by using island scan... What? Are you kidding me? Analyze QR patterns 10. You can't QR scan because you currently don't have any scans remaining. How do I not have scans remaining? I haven't done it since VLD. Um... I guess I'm not getting Venipede? So the island stand for this area is Venipede. I was going to do it. Disregard everything I said. I don't have any scans left for some reason. I'm not sure as to why that is. But that's okay. There's other Pokemon that I want on this island with island scan anyways. So I guess we're not. So everything I just said, disregard. I want Grubbin. Will I get Grubbin? It's... Probably not going to happen, but it's something that I would like to hope for anyways. I'm going to go ahead and put VLD up front. Yeah, that's actually a bad idea. If I run into Mudbray, I'm in trouble. I'm going to leave Aeris up front. So, my encounter for Route 4 will hopefully just be a Grubbin and nothing else. Because then I don't have to worry about it. So, my encounter for Route 4 could possibly be not a Rattata. So, this isn't a Lolan Rattata. I've talked about this before. Rattata and Raticate are a part of my previous game clause, a rule that I made up that makes it so I can't use Pokemon that I have used in a previous series. Some Alolan forms don't count in this, such as Executor. However, based on how long I used the Raticate that I did, and how similar Raticate and this Rattata, being the Alolan form, are, I don't want a repeat of my past. That's why I have that rule, and I determine that Rattata and Raticate Alolan forms are pretty much the same thing, even though they're really not. They're just too similar for me, I don't want to use it. So for because of that, I stated at the beginning, Alolan, Rattata, and Raticate do not count. So, that is Rattata done. We don't have to worry about that, I know a lot of people really wanted that. And also, for anybody that thinks I should use it, it's my playthrough, I didn't want to use it, I stated it at the beginning, and if I change my clock, I would never have to run into it anyway, so I could make it so I don't have to. It's just a hassle. I could have said it's a daytime. Nobody would have said a thing. So don't don't even worry about it. I don't want Rattata. But we got a Grubbin. There we go. All right. Awesome. I didn't expect to get Grubbin, actually. I thought we'd get a Mudbray or an Eevee. Two things I really don't want, but we're going to get a Mudbray on the next area, which is unfortunate, because I really want Miltank or Tauros, but, you know, Mudbray's really good. I love it. Just, I've used one the entire game, pretty much. And it made it to the Elite Four, and I don't want that to happen again. But it doesn't really matter. Not much I can do. I'm just going to go ahead and throw a Great Ball. Hopefully we get it right away, and I don't have to worry about anything here. Let's hit it with a Great Ball. And we did. Nice job. All right, we got ourselves a Grubbin, which is the unique bug type of this generation. I've never gotten to use a Vika Volt, really, so... Maybe Grubbin will be something that we get to use on this playthrough. 
All right, we've got ourselves a Grubbin. Let's go ahead and check out its Pokedex entry and see what it says. All right, Grubbin is the larva Pokemon. Its strong jaw enables it to scrape trees and slurp out the sap. It normally lives underground. So, as you guys know, my naming theme is NPCs and characters from the online game RuneScape. So I'm going to check my list, find a name for this Grubbin, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, it's kind of a basic name. Um, there's a couple of boss monsters that are based on this creature that I'm about to name this larva, this grubbin after. And I would love to name it after that, but it's kind of a weird name for a Pokemon. I'm just going to go with the basic form. It's a little insect monster in RuneScape, and that's really all there is to say about it. And I'm going to be naming this grubbin Calphite. We have Calphite, the grubbin. So Calphites are little insects. They have different species like Calphite Guardians and Calphite Workers. And there's two bosses, the Calphite King and the Calphite Queen. I was going to name it Calphite King. It just doesn't sound like a very good name for a little bug grubbin. I think Calphite is good enough. So, I'm going to go ahead and send it to the box. We're going to check it out at the Pokemon Center instead of right here. And, yeah, I'm going to head back to the Pokemon Center, and I'll see you guys when I'm there. All right, guys, here in the PC, we can go ahead and check, our, uh, check out Calphite, the little grubbin that we just caught. So... Grubbin's compatibility is, in preference, is going to be with... So it's a quiet nature, which means it likes opposites, which is pretty sweet. So it likes females only, basically. So let's go ahead and mark it down for liking females only by going into the marking, hitting this, making it pink, and there we go. We got a quiet swarm Grubbin, which is sweet. I don't know if it can have another ability. I don't remember. And it has a plus special attack. That's actually a really good nature. They're pretty slow when they evolve, and they have a really good special attack. That's actually the best nature, one of the best natures you can get for a Vikavolt. Not so great for um, Grubbin or Charger Bug, but it's really good for a Vikavolt. Vikavolt, which is awesome. So, cool. We have another Pokemon that likes females. We don't have anything that likes males. And we don't like anything. Well, we have two aces and two Pokemon that like females. So, if one of our um, males die, we're in trouble. So, we'll have to keep that in mind going down the line. But yeah, we have some options open. Pretty sweet. Grubbin is what I wanted. Awesome. Okay, so here we are in the Pokemon Center. I'm going to go ahead and heal up really quick. And then we can go ahead and check out the TM corner. Um, it's in this Pokemon Center, as I said. And I know you can get Protect... I know I'm going to buy that, but I don't know what other TMs that you can get. Protect is obviously a huge TM for down the line here, but by talking to this guy, we'll be able to see what he has. Uh, light screen, protect. Oh, reflect and light screen. Those are really good, but for now, I'm just going to get protect. I can't see a use for light screen or reflect as of right now, but they're there in case we ever need to come back and get them. I'd buy them, but I don't have the money for them, so there's no real reason to spend all my money on them right now. But protect is definitely something I wanted to buy, and I also... I'm going to go ahead and teach it. So let's go in the bag, go over here to protect, and obviously everybody can learn it. I need to think about who I want to get it. Um, Vialli and Bob should have it. Every pair should have somebody that has it, but I don't know what I want to get rid of here. These are the probably the best moves Vialli's going to have for a while. Um, I'm not sure what Bob would have that I'd want to get rid of. Bob doesn't really have anything I want to get rid of right now. Um, what about Felcrash? I know Felcrash doesn't have very many moves. Sand Attack's better than Protect in my eyes. I'm not going to use Sand Attack. It's really good. It's definitely a good attack to use. I've used it very well in a past wedlock of mine, but it's kind of risky. I'd rather just have Protect on there for now. Um, Stun Spore is 75 accuracy. Do I ever see myself paralyzing things? Uh, protect? No, I'm not going to put Protect on Malcolm, but what about Eris? Eris is the last one I'm going to check. Bellamore doesn't need it. I can get rid of Air Cutter? No, that's not a good idea. Um, I'll get rid of Work Up on... No, that's actually dumb. I'm going to reteach Work Up because of Baton Pass. Yeah, I'm just going to give it to Felcrash for now. I'm going to go ahead and teach Work Up to Eris in replace of protect yeah because then i can baton pass workups maybe if i decided that's something i was gonna do i don't know it's an option but otherwise not having anything else baton pass is useless so i'll just go ahead and leave it the way it is for now maybe in the future if i need it for anything i'll just go ahead and slap it on there because now we have it for the future so 
if we ever need it, I can just go ahead and do that. So this way is going to be blocked off for now. We have to go the way we were on Route 4. But I want to explore everything, get all the items that I can get from around here, and talk to everybody really quick. So we don't have to do this in, in the meantime. Also, I know about this. I don't know if anybody pointed it out in the last episode, but I know all about this. I don't really ever use it. I'll put it on right for now, because I don't know. I, I don't know. The way I record, there's no really good way of touching the D-pad. So I don't know. Maybe I'll use it. Maybe I won't. But this girl gives you a rare candy, which is... Huge! That's why I came back! See? If I would have skipped all these people, I would have never got that rare candy. That'll save me a little bit of time in the f long, long future, because I'm not going to use it anytime now. I might, actually. I could use it on Bob right now and evolve him, but I'm not going to. I mean, it it's there now, so I've got it in the future. I'll probably use it when I train for the Elite Four. That's when I use all my rare candies, but maybe I'll use it to evolve somebody if I am trying to or something. And I'm really close or something like that. Who knows? What is this guy's nickname? Electrowin. That's Electra Twin, maybe? Um, I don't want any fresh water, bud. I can get them, though, from the vending machine, as he said. I don't know where the vending machine is. Is it in here? Maybe you can get one in here. I'm not entirely sure if the vending machine... I know there is one, but can you actually use it here? Yeah, you can. Um, I don't want one, though. Ah, fine. I'll pick up a fresh water. Because the guy told me to. I don't know if talking to him will do anything. I'm not going to, but it's a, 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 it's a nuisance to buy fresh water and stuff from vending machines. They come out so slow, but I think you might be able to get a free one. I know that's how it is in the older games. If you buy things, an extra one can pop out. But I'm not sure if it's like that in Sun and Moon or not. I'm sure it is. I don't know why they'd take that feature out. But who knows? Maybe they did. I know they changed the hit point values on everything, like fresh water and stuff. So maybe they changed that too when they were doing that. Uh, I thought you were going to give me a Citrus Berry. Are you kidding me? You're not going to give me anything? What a joke. Like, what kind of game is this? You don't give me a Citrus Berry after telling me about it? Anyway, let's go in here. This is the Tourist Bureau, I think. Um, oh my god, I love this. You can't change the nickname of a Pokemon to get in a trade. My Magnemite's nickname is Chrome Dome. Uh, it's like the Chrome... Oh my god, the Chroma Dome. That's it! Okay, so like... Uh, oh, oh my god, it's like realization. I love this. So, um, I have a Discord server if you guys don't know. It's a shameless plug. It's in the description if you'd like to join. Everybody talks about wedlocks and stuff like that. And you can share all your wedlock journeys and stuff like that. And update everybody as you go along. It's really cool. Uh, a lot of people are in there and it's really active, which I love to see. And I'm actually re working on redoing it. I'm giving it like a fresh coat of paint and like making it easier for everybody to use and stuff like that. Making it a better place to hang out. And I was... I, I have a joke, like... I have, like, a joke in the dic in, uh, um, Discord that I'm the dictator and everybody's my minions and stuff. And it's, like, it's just a big happy funny joke. And I already did the clothes shopping. But uh, I was thinking of names for my roles. If you guys don't know what Discord is, you can name roles and stuff and give roles to people. Like, I'm the dictator and I can give minions to people and stuff like that. Not that I do, but it's, it's a thing, you know. And I was thinking of, like, a name for, like, my city, like... Uh, Ace Trainers of Chromatopia, or Cormtopia is what I had it as, and Cormtopia is cool, but I couldn't think of, like, a cool name, and I was like, uh, the Corm Islands, because it sounds like the Orange Islands, because it's, like, Pokemon-themed. Oh, wait, Corm Dome isn't, the Chroma Dome isn't Pokemon-themed. Well, I guess it kind of is, the, the, the Battle Frontier Dome, the, the Chroma Dome, the Chroma Dome, like, that's it, like, actually... And it would kind of relate a little bit, because, like, I named myself Boss Rocket Corm, you know, because, you know, people call me Corm, and I'm, like, Boss Rocket, you know, kind of, because it's Pokemon-themed. Yeah. Uh, my girlfriend's role, I put as Pike Queen Starry, because her name's Starry, and Pike Queen is a thing in Pokemon, Pike Queen Lucy. And I thought it was cool, because she's, like, the queen of the server, you know, and it's, 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 like, a cute little thing. And I was working on roles and stuff like that, and I couldn't think of a good, like, name for, like, my Topia, but the Chromadome. It sounds amazing. It all came to me in this very video, so you guys can always go back and look when it hit me, if you ever wanted to do something like that, you know what I mean? But yeah, there's nothing here except a Zygarde cube, which is, well, a Zygarde core. This is actually one of the cores, I think. Um, Cena wants to talk to me. Um, yeah, this is Zygarde cell. Okay, so this isn't one of the cores. I need to get, like, 50 cells to be able to make Zygarde. I'll have them by the time we actually get to the point of making it. So you don't need to worry about that. I'll just pick them up whenever I see them. But there is one in here, if you guys happen to be playing along and wanted to grab it as well. So that's everything we can explore here. Let's head back to Route 4 and finish exploring there. We didn't do anything other than, well, other than get Calphite, the Grubbin. But I guess we can go back now and fight all the trainers. We haven't really done too much except ramble and run around and talk to people. 
But, I mean, what else is a corn video? Let's be real. You know, the Chroma Dome. It sounds like a WWE thing. I don't watch wrestling, but it's like, Welcome to the Thunderdome! Welcome to the Chroma Dome! You know what I'm saying? It's like, power. I'm gonna put Bob up front. I, I'm scared. Like, Bob and VLD I love using, but I'm really afraid to use them because anybody at any point could have a water type. And it's over. When I run into a water type with these two, the game is ended. I know I opened this party three times now. I'm going to hate myself in editing, but I forgot to give a berry to Malcolm and it just hit me. Um, berry, 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 berry. No orange berries? I have no orange berries left. Are you kidding? Uh, I guess I'll give the silver powder then because it's for bug types. Whatever. Um, sure. Okay, so repel now. I open in so many menus. So much scatterbrain. No repels? Oh, that's not the items pack. Scatterbrain! All right, where's the repels? There they are. I bought so many. I, of course I have repels. Anyways, let's continue. This guy looks like a sailor. Or is he a chef? I'm not fighting him with these two. I'll fight somebody else with these two. He's got to have a water type. Or, ooh, not even water types. A mud bray would kill them. Like, I'm done if I run into somebody with these two that has one of those Pokemon. It's over for them. And I hate that feeling. It's just such a bad pairing. I'll come back and fight him. I'm going to fight... No, she's got a Mudbray. Okay, they're going to get retired for right now. A lot of people in this route have Mudbray and water types because of the upcoming area. I just really don't want to have to deal with it. I'm going to do Felcrash and Bellamord because Felcrash is kind of low level. And if I need to switch, Bellamord can always save his butt. So let's fight this guy. Was my hunch right? Does he have some sort of water type? Yeah, he is a chef. No, he's a bellhop. That's right. He's not either one. So maybe he would have been fine. We'll find out when we fight bellhop Jeremy. Jody! Jody! You name a guy Jody? First of Victi? No, I, I had to make the meme. I'm sorry, Jody. If you ever happen to stumble upon this Pokemon video for whatever reason. She's X big... No, I'm not. All right, right Drifloon! Yeah, so that's fine. We can fight that with Thief. I'm not really concerned. They wouldn't have acrobatics on a trainer battle, so I'm not really concerned about how much damage your Drifloon could do here. Falkrash should be fine to take it down. Gust isn't going to do that much, even though we're kind of frail. Drifloon's great, but level 14, I'm not really concerned. Let's just take it down. Thief this thing. Quick Claw twice in a row, which is pretty sweet. And that's a Drifloon down. We would have been able to do it with VLD, I know, but once again, I didn't want to risk it. I know the Rancher girls and guys normally have um, Mudbray, which is basically... Goodbye, the Elding Bob. So, we're not going to do that. I'm going to fight somebody that looks like they wouldn't have a Mudbray. You can kind of base it on what, like, people look like and stuff. Like, this guy up here, he's a collector. I know he's, like, right there, yeah. I don't think this guy has a water type. I'm kind of certain. I'm pretty certain he has something like an Eevee. Also, I need to spray Repel because Wild Mudbray are a thing. They are fast, and they will kill them, too. I think they have bulldoze. So let's fight this guy. I knew he sniped you right here. I'm not going to get caught off guard. He's a collector, which is what he means. Which is what, which means he collects Pokemon, derp. Come on. All right. Do you have an Eevee? Collector John. Brian. Uh, Brian. All right, what's up? What do you have? A Munchlax. Munchlax is something that these two can definitely come across and fight. So... Unfortunately, I don't have Thief on either of these two, because this Munchlax might have Leftovers. Somebody did point out that I can Thief a Leftovers 100% of the time from Wild Munchlax over on the Route 1 section that you can find Munchlax on. But I believe they're an SOS calling Pokemon, and it would get me too much experience to SOS a Munchlax in that I would become overleveled, and it's not something I can do. Also, that Amnesia is kind of scary. I'm going to have to switch Bob in, and I'm going to... Oh, they have probably have Thick Fat. Okay, um, I f feel with the special defense being raised that high, Acid's not going to do anything for me. I need to switch into Bob and use Acrobatics. Um, Fire Fang would bypass the Amnesia, obviously being a physical attack, but it, they probably have Thick Fat, as I just said, meaning Fire and Ice type attacks aren't going to do very much damage. This could be bad. It's getting really out of control here with the Defense Curl and the Amnesia. It might even have Rollout, which would be devastating. If it paralyzes me, this could get out of hand severely quickly. It did paralyze me. That's not good. I'm going to Fire Fang and hope I can burn it. Even if it does, for some reason, have thick fat. It probably does. For some reason, faster than it. Still, that's okay then. 
As long as I can hit, we should be okay. Maybe I'll burn it, flinch it, anything. As long as Bob can hit, we should be able to get out of this. It doesn't look... What did it use? I didn't see what it used, and it did a lot of damage, and that's concerning. It's probably some sort of normal type attack. I'm going to use a healing item here. I'm going to go ahead and use a super potion here on Bob. I know I'll still be paralyzed. I want to see what he did. I'm not exactly sure. I do know he has Lick, meaning VLD's in trouble. Amnesia's fine. Amnesia's the best thing he can use. Now, by getting rid of the berry, by it using that strong attack, that's great, because it's going to make acrobatics do twice as much damage, and we should be able to wrap this fight up here in a few turns. Yeah, one more and it's done. Defense scroll doesn't matter. I'm still outspeeding. As long as I hit through here, hit through this paralysis, Bob, and this fight will be done. Well, it's not actually over. He's still got one more Pokemon. I didn't think about that one, because this could be really bad, depending on what it is. Uh, Collector, Munchlax, what do you have? A Rufflet, Vullaby, no, it couldn't be. There's one down the line. What would he have? Will-O-Wisp. Okay, that's good, actually. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Confuse Ray. Confuse Ray's 100%, but it can snap out. Will-O-Wisp is guaranteed really helpful. I'm gonna get rid of Confuse Ray. I know it's 100% and it can really save my butt, but that's the thing. It's a gamble. It can snap out right away. It could hurt all the time. It could never hurt them. Will-O-Wisp is a guarantee, and that's what I need. Bagon. Okay. It would probably have a rock-type attack. I'm going to feel it out. It wouldn't matter even if I switch. If it has a rock-type attack, we're kind of done. I'm going to acrobatics. I can always switch. I want to see what he's going to do. Dragon Breath. Okay. This is not good. It's not doing as much as I thought. Acrobatics did hit, which means we're going to get some sort of damage on it. One more acrobatics and it's over. Bob, you got to hit through or this could get really out of control quick. It's using Ember, which isn't that great. We didn't hit. That's okay. A crit dragon breath would end Bob's life. We just have to hope for the best. It's still using Ember for some reason, which I like to see. We hit Acrobatics should take this thing out. Yes. All right. Kind of a scary fight against Collector Brian there, but luckily Bob was able to pull it out. And we'll be able to heal him up and hopefully not have to fight with these two for a while. I know Bob's really close to evolving, and then it might not be so sketchy fighting things because Bob will be like a little bit more bulk. Because obviously right now, Bob and VLD are really not good. VLD's not going to be good for, like, a long time. I'm basically just carrying VLD. I would never kill a Pokemon off just because of their... They're not that great. I would never do that, ever. So, you know, I'm playing with fire here, literally, with VLD and Bob. But, you know, VLD's going to be here till she dies. Well, till he dies, like, legitimately. I'm not ever going to do anything to him. He's going to be here until he just physically can't go on any longer. Um, I'm gonna give the expert belt. No, nothing. Bob can hold nothing since I don't have any berries. Bob's got acrobatics, so I'll just leave it like that. All right, let's see what this item was. A revive. All right, so that's pointless. I mean, money. Money talks, right? Ooh, what's this girl? She's not a trainer, actually. Uh, you know these winding routes sometimes have secret little spots that are easy to overlook. Yeah, like the one you're looking at. Okay, this girl... He's a Sightseer, so he has an Alola Pokemon that's not an Alolan form. Which, if we wind that down, it can't be Diglett. There's no way he's got a Diglett right here. He probably has a regular Rattata, which means... VLD would be bad because of Bite. Bob would be bad because of Hyper Fang. It's not that bulky. I think my best bet here would probably be Felcrash switching to Bellamord, depending on what it is. Can't be a fighting type. There are no fighting type Alolan Pokemon that I can think of right now. <sighs> Pursuit from a Rattata would be pretty bad. We'll see. I know Felcrash is just as frail as Bob, probably, so... I'm not really sure, but I know Sightseers always have an Alolan form of a Pokemon that isn't the Alolan form. If you know what I mean, like, instead of... Like, if he has a Meowth, it's a regular Meowth, not an Alolan Meowth. And Sightseer Scotty is going to have a Rattata, like I thought. So, that's scary because, obviously, at this point, Rattata's gonna have Hyper Fang, which is going to do unimaginable amounts of damage to anything. It'll kill Felcrash straight up in one hit. I've been there, I've done that, I've seen that exact same thing happen. I want to see what it's going to do, so I'm going to protect. Does it have Hyper Fang? If it does, that's bad. If it uses Pursuit, that's all... Ooh, that's so bad! I just gave it a free crit raise. That's really, really dangerous, because I think it could even kill Bella Mord. That's not good. But I can't leave Felcrash in, because he's done no matter what. So I have to let Bellamord take whatever it throws. If it uses Hyper Fang, I might as well kiss Bellamord goodbye. It used Bite. 
Beautiful. Okay. Thank you. I was That's why I didn't want to do it with Vialdi. I knew they would have bites. So now I'm going to fake out. It's going to do a little bit of damage. It's going to do a lot, actually, because it's just a Rattata. And I'll be able to take it out with Bite. Even if it uses Quick Attack, I'm in perfect situation. Perfect scenario to take this down. I'm not worried about it anymore. It could have been bad, though. If it used Hyper Fang, it, would, it was over. And I'm pretty sure they get Hyper Fang at 13 or 12. So, yeah, that was pretty sketchy. I don't like that, but you know, not much I can do about it now. But it's over, so that's all that matters. Okay, next, who's up front? I'm going to go ahead and put Malcolm up front, I think. No, Felgratch has got to stay up front. Felgratch is the only one that's not level 16. So in that case, I'm going to actually heal Bella Mord really quick. I'm just going to use a potion. There's real no reason to use anything else. I don't want to waste super potions. How are we doing on super potions, by the way? Plenty. Okay, cool. So hopefully Felgratch will be able to level up here. I know it doesn't evolve until level 20, which isn't the greatest thing in the world, but we have to deal with it. Yeah, there's that little cranny that she was talking about. A little nook and a cranny. Yes, I want to spray repel. I'm not running into a wild mud bray. They are way too deadly. I, I believe they have bulldoze in the wild, which is scary to even think about, but I might be wrong. Um, Yeah, he's a chef. He probably... Oh, okay, I guess I don't have a chance to think about it. I was going to think about what he could have. What could he have? Um, um, I think he has an Iggly buff? Maybe? I don't know. Cook Ernie has a cutie fly. Okay, that's fine. Um, Felcrash can take that down. Something Felcrash can fight by himself! Oh, I can't wait until you're a gumshoes when you can fight all by yourself. Always, unless there's a fighting type. And in that case, you're both dead. So, let's just tackle this cutie fly. They're fast, but they're frail. Kind of like us, but I'm pretty sure Felcrash has the upper hand here. Especially, it's only level 14. Oh, it's going to take three? Are you serious? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just do three tackles then instead of a work of an attack. It's the same thing. It's going to take two more turns regardless. Probably three, because I'm probably going to heal just in case. Because a lot of things can go wrong, as everybody knows. Um, I'm not going to not heal and have it be a crit. I'm just going to use Super Potion. I say don't heal anticipating a crit when it's like... When you only have, like, two items, but when you have all three, and it's like, like, if I used one anticipating a crit right now, and he had a whole team, and then I needed him down the line on his team, that's what I mean. But, when he only has one Pokemon, there's, you're not going to use all three. If you know you're not going to use all three, there's no reason to not, just in case, kind of, if that makes sense. But, like, in a gym battle, using it on the first Pokemon, it's not a good idea, because he's got other Pokemon you're going to have to need those items for, probably. But, luckily, Felcrash didn't have to worry about anything. Bide. Are you kidding me? I'm not teaching Bide in a wedlock. I would have to be pretty crazy to do something like that. I'm crazy, but I'm, I'm not that crazy. Pretty crazy, though. All right, so yeah. Berries. Give me an orange berry. A Petcha berry. Give me an orange berry, please. I'm running out of berries. I have Petcha berries. I have person berries. I don't have an Aguav berry, though. I'm not too sure what it does, but I'm pretty certain that it's just, like, one of those berries that does nothing. Um, no, it's one of those confusion... It's, like preference berries. It's like a citrus berry, but if they hate the taste, it confuses them. It's better than a citrus berry, actually, in these games. They buffed them, but... Anyways, here's the last item on the route. We're gonna grab ourselves an energy root. And that is going to be where we wrap this episode up. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, a like is appreciated. It helps out a great deal. And if you want to see more Pokemon wedlocks, like Pokemon Sun, feel free to subscribe. And in the next episode, we're gonna enter Paniola Town and then head on to the ranch. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get something really cool like a Miltank or a Tauros. I doubt it, but who knows, maybe we will. And until then, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.